In this film, we're going to look first at how important colours are to butterflies, and then explore how they're generated. Studying the butterflies not as objects in a museum collection or laboratory, but alive in their natural surroundings. Finding out how they can produce such an enormous variety of colours, and focusing particularly on the most magical and spectacular ones. Outside of a butterfly scale, as seen in an electron microscope. And if it sometimes appears particularly bright, that may be due to the scales having a denser concentration of the beads that are producing scattering. When light passes through several very thin layers of chitin, separated by air, and the layers are a precise distance apart, which is small enough to be on a wavelength of visible colour, the light rays will be broken up and reflected back as a colour. This sort of colour generator is often known as a photonic device. In fact, the upper side wings of this single butterfly, Doxacopa laurentia, perfectly illustrate the main types of colour generation we have come across in this film in America. But it's in the coastal forests of East Africa that you'll see this superb iridescent Euphedra species, with external multilayer reflectors producing hues shifting from violet to purple.